so you can play. Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargamer.com. Welcome, Wargamers, to another Who Would Win. In today's matchup, we got a greater Brass Scorpion of Corn versus a Gorkonaut and a Morkonaut. Try to balance the points as much as possible, get them close. They actually are pretty close. Isn't it exactly 700 points on each side? I, I'm just trusting this guy. If it's not, that's I okay. <laughs> My two opponents today are going to be Cody Rue and Groove and Grove. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be feeling the Morkonaut and the Gorkonaut. Place your bets. Who do you think will win today? Let's go over the stats with models. Starting in this corner, the Greater Brass Scorpion of Corn, 700 points. Weapon skill 3, with skill 3. It is strength 10, base. Front armor 14. Side 13, rear 10. It is initiative 3. 6 attacks with 9 hull points. Unit type is a super heavy walker, which is great because in close combat, going to be going against that front armor 14. His war gear. One Scorpion Cannon. Scorpion Cannons are 36 inch range, strength 6, AP3, heavy 10. One Soul Burner Cannon, which is 24 inch range, strength 10, AP2, primary weapon, large blast, ignores cover. Then we got two Hellmaw Cannons, which are templates, strength, three, strength 6, AP3, assault 1. That's his war gear. Let's go over his special rules. He is a demon, which means that he gets a 5 plus invuln save and causes fear. Frenzied charge. He rolls 3d6 and he adds all of them together, and that is his charge distance. Distance, so he goes a little bit further. Runes of the Blood God. Should any psyker attempt to make a psychic ability against him, they automatically get perils. The warp doesn't really matter in this game, but I figure like to mention it because it's a brand new model and it's really pretty eye candy in front of my face. Doomsday Reactor. Greater Brass Scorpion suffers a plus two modif modifier when rolling on a catastrophic damage table. So the chances of it doing something better is good. I like that. Because when he dies, it takes him with him. It will not die, that will help him in this game. And a multi-legged terror. So when making a stop attack, he makes D3 plus two stops. Now you are also super heavies. Yep. You're not super heavies, so that will no actually point. come into play. Sweet. I'm excited for that. I can bring him in a regular game of 40k. He counts as the Lord of War. And that is the Greater Brass Scorpion of Corn. Let's go over to the Gorkonaut and the Morkonaut. And Cody Rue, before you start saying your mall, I just have to say, this is a beautiful conversion. This is your, what do you call it? Lord of Death Skulls. It is, it is absolutely wonderfully beautiful. I love it. I love all of your conversion work, and this one in particular because it's so big and grand and impressive, it just makes it that much better. And it's so chaotic because it's a, basically a Lord of Skulls model with a Morkonaut body thrown in the middle. Basically is. Yes. And I love it. And I, I know that the viewers love to see the conversions too, so a lot of appreciation going on here. But sorry for interrupting you, please continue with the stats. Alright, so the Gorkonaut. Base 245 points. Uh, he has weapon skill 4, ballistic skill 2, strength 8. So you, when you go ripping that weapon off him, he's still strength 8. Front and side armor 13, rear armor 12. Initiative of two, which is so typical of orcs. Four attacks with five hull points. Um, he comes with a Death Storm Mega Shooter, this part right here, Ooh. which gets three d6 shots. Uh, strength and AP uh, underwhelming. <laughs> it's got two twin linked big shooters here and here, which are strength five, AP five. Um, two rocket launchers, strength eight, AP three. It has a Scorcha for flaming all those pesky little gribblies that get in your way. And he has got the Claw of Gork, or possibly Mork. In this case, using the um, Lord of Skulls axe. He has Rampage, so when he's outnumbered, he gets more attacks. He has a transport capacity of six models that can go out through that front hatch, but there will not be six models in there. No fire points. And I'm going to take both upgrades, extra armor for 10 points, so we treat Shaken, stunned results as Shaken, and Grot Riggers for 20 points, which will give him It Will Not Die. And here we have the Morkonaut. Its profile is basically the same as the Gorkonaut, but we'll go over it again just in case uh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it's got weapon skill 4, ballista skill 2, strength 8, front armor and side armor 13, rear 12, initiative 2, 4 attacks, and 5 hull points. It is a vehicle walker transport. Uh, its war gear is two twin link big shooters, a custom mega blaster, which is a small blast, strength 8 AP2, gets hot. Custom Mega Cannon. Oh, sorry, that was a small. That was the single shot. The, the Mega Blast is the single shot of that. The Mega Cannon is the small blast. It's got two rocket launches and the Claw of Pos uh, Gork or possibly Mork. And in this case, since it's a Morkonaut, it is definitely a, a Claw Gork. 
Or what? <laughs> 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 it's got a transport uh, capacity of six models, no fire or fire points. And uh, it's got a custom force field, which gives it a uh, five up invul. Uh, and anyone within six inches gets that as well against shooting, not in, in close combat. Because we don't need that. Uh, it's got extra armor and grot riggers as well. Since you're at a total of 575 points, we're going to throw in another death dread right there and make it 120 points. Going to yep. give it uh, two extra power claws. Yep, so its base stats here are weapon skill 4, plus the skill 2, strength 5, front armor and side armor are 12, rear is 10, and initiative 2, 3 base attacks, and 3 hull points. It's a, a vehicle walker. It's base war gear, but we're changing the big shooters and they have 2 power claws. So, so it's got four, four total because four it's got two total. base okay. and we're replacing the big shooters. Okay, gotcha. It also has grot workers. One of those. What do they do? Those, those guys. Uh, it will not die. And extra armor. Okay. Roll, roll to see who's going to go first. Okay, you choose. Oh, go first? I think we go first this You go time. first? Yeah, okay. We don't want right. shooting. Okay, Thruski's in. He's going to use the little kabuski. <laughs> the kabuski. The kabuski. A Paruski? A Paruski? What did you just say? And you moving up 12 yeah. or 6? I move up to, uh, 24. 24. What? That's part of my... Uh, you just only 6. six. <sighs> only 6. Oh, and all I move 6. Alright. What could it do cheating if you're paying attention? <laughs> is that a Morkonaut or a Gorkonaut? Uh, it's a Gorkonaut. No, it is. Maybe a Morkonaut. Yeah, you don't even know what it is. Yeah. Dude? No, not really. I'm kind of cheating, but uh, you're not looking, so you're it's You're cheating okay, by right? moving? Like, way past your distance. <laughs> huh, Same my thing. finger. I know, that, that hurts, hurts, right? <laughs> oh, man. Druski. Uh, me, work stuff, bang. <laughs> Defnot's gonna run. Orc, run! Oh, six oh. inches! Hey, Mom, look at me, Orc! <laughs> ben and Ruski. And Morkonaut's gonna run. He's gonna rumble. You're gonna rumble? Rumble? Is it a Gorkonaut or a Gorkonaut? It's a Gorkonaut. It's a Gorkonaut. It's a Lord of Death Skulls. Lord of Death Skulls. You go up another four inches. Oh, oh chicken wings. They don't know is this little button that holds it for you. Click on the button for a second. <laughs> Buttons. Yeah, I'll push it through the other end. And then you just go like that. That's not yours. Oh, no. <laughs> Gorkonaut is gonna shoot its cannon. It's, uh, what's that now? Custom Mega Cannon. Okay. Gets hot? No. Nope. It's not. Small blast, does it scatter? Oh, oh sorry okay. about that. Strength hit. Hits. Okay, yeah. Strength eight versus front armor fourteen. You need a six. That's nothing. That's a that's that's a thing. That's a nothing. That's two. Oh crap. Now the custom mega blaster. Strength eight AP two. Assault one. Nope. That's a miss. And it gets hot. Actually, that's it gets hot. No. Yeah. Oh, so, sure. So that's yeah. it gets hot. Now you rolled a hit. And ah, that's a hits, hit. Yeah. yeah there sure you go. It does. You like how I did that? I'm yeah, a good you're friend. cheating for me, actually. That's not I cheating. appreciate it. It's not cheating. You're doing it right. That's what that is. Yeah, we're doing it right. Yeah, 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 y
Strength 10, front armor 13, glance on threes. Uh -oh. oh wow, that's four pins. It's going to blow him up. Dicky die. Any sixes, there's an explode. No, no, no. But he's a wreck. He's a wreck. And his uh. true form comes out. I didn't mean to kill you, brother. <laughs> and I consolidate. Six inches. He was. Why? And that's that. Voice blood. So your turn. You crazy wab at you. Move forward six. He's gonna get you. So restart the camera so Mike can give me the tape <laughs> to do this. Hello. Say hello to my little friend. Hello. 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 Mork and Knot's gonna shoot its custom mega cannon onto the blast scorpion. Give it a hat. That doesn't get. Well, I don't hot. know what you're. Oh, it's got hot. Okay. Yeah. So we'll scatter. Just scatter. Oh, Drag look it. at that. We get. Strength eight and eating six. Oh. Uh, assault one, custom mega blaster. Hitting on a five. Sure. Gets hot. Oh, it gets hot for a second. Oh, oh, so it's it's so I just get. It. Yeah, that's right. Missed again. It's not a blast. It's a miss. Oh. Two rockets. Hit, hit. Oh. Ow. Sixes. Oh, oh, there we go. Five plus demon save. Not rats. <laughs> oh. Wait, rats. master splinter? Splinter? The master. Rats. That's really distracting. Oh, that's a rat. <laughs> Assault face. You are eight inches away. How fitting for corn. And you are four inches away. So I'm half a corn. Gonna roll. Gonna roll for him. Needing an eight. Getting a nine. I release you. I did it. Death dread. Me. Four. Made it. Don't forget about me. Yeah. Hammer of Wrath on the Morkin Knot, strength 8, front number 14, on a 6, you glance. Take this. Bump. No. In your strength 5 base, so you can do Take no harm. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what six. he would need it. And that. Brass Scorpion with initiative 3 will attack first. Gonna attack the Morkin Knot because you attacked me at AP1 with your Claw of Mork, possibly Gork. Which one? Right know. or left hand? I don't want to take a chance. So. Not the, one? Yeah, which the red one's one. Thunder and which one's Lightning? <laughs> red one. No. Hitting on fours, getting two hits, and glancing on threes, getting one pen, and hoping for a six here. Oh. That's explode, and you're not a super heavy, are you? No. So does that wreck you? It that explodes you? Before I get to attack. Wow! And Talk about luck of cheesy. corn. <laughs> hey guys, um, why am I all alone? Okay, you can't you can't put the camera on me. Just the voice and it just doesn't. Mix. I know it's that's why laughing happens. Uh, you're with me in skill three. No, 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 no. <laughs> you hit me on threes. Histing, and that's a lot of hit. Strength ten for number fourteen. Glancing on fours. Glancing on fours. And that's a pen, 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 pen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. For Five up inbound saves. I gotta get your reaction. I gotta get Where the reaction. Where our dicing is it's, weird. It's, it's actually dicing. Crazy. Do you here. put that on a cake? Now you roll to see the results here. Just a sec. <laughs> 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 that wasn't a six. Press scorpion multi stump. For anyone who gets that reference. <laughs> sort of. Because the brass scorpion is a multi leg terror. Multi pass. He makes stomp attacks. <laughs> multi stomp. <laughs> it's a d3 plus two, so that's four in total. And rolling on the stomp table. What are you doing to me? Why are you recording me talking like this? Because I think I just killed the Death Dread. You did kill the Death Dread. Yeah, I think I stopped him. So, saying out of the three Orc players and me not being an Orc player, that I was the most successful Orc player by not being an Orc player for not doing Orc things. Last one left alive. Yeah, on Emmaus. There you go. Nailed it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Stuff's happening around. Oh, get oh my god. Oh, it's very nice. That's <laughs> it. Bubble wrap. Okay, Vault members, Bubble stay tuned for our next matchup, which is the Greater Brass Scorpion of Corn, pitted up against the Bloodthirster of Insensate Rage. This Bloodthirster is equipped with the Strength D close combat attack, but he is unwieldy with it. So, we shall see who shall win in that who will win matchup. If you're not a Vault member, we invite you to click on the link below and sign up for a free seven day trial so that you can see that matchup as well as all of the other narrative campaign battle reports and painting tutorials and regular battle reports and behind the scenes videos and everything that you get 
when you are a Vault member. Vault members help to support us and they enable us to make these videos and to make videos, period. Mini Wargaming would not exist without the Vault members. Yay! Which means we wouldn't be here. They, they wouldn't be here. That's true. There would be no club. There They'd would still be. Live in the area. There'd no be no studio. studio. There that would be no be nothing. Like so here, like right now. We appreciate your support. We would still everything. be. So there would be no. Gem. Please do click on the link below. You know, you click on the link below. And we'll all see you. Forge multiple friendships in this room. That's, that's true. That's true. I didn't know any of you guys before. That's right. true. Right. So that is absolutely true. So he called so. me pick my nose, man. I, I did. Yes, but it's better the devil you knows than the devil you don't. The devil's in the details. Yeah! <laughs>